I'm going to show you a really cool tool built right inside Canva that will allow you to use any slide deck that you have or you create, present it, record your voice, and be able to share that video to students or parents. Great way to revisit learning or have parents understand what it is you're teaching, maybe help students at home. So it's really easy to do. All you have to do is take a slide deck that you've made, whether it's from Google or PowerPoint, and upload it to Canva. Or you can, right within Canva, create a slide deck and use that. So however you got your slide deck, whether you created it in Canva or you uploaded it into Canva, all you need to do is get it in there and then open it. So here I am. I've opened up this slide deck. I can edit it in Canva and do whatever I want, but I'm going to present it. I'm ready to go. So all I have to do when I'm ready is I go up to the top right corner where it says present. I'm going to click on present. I want to present and record. So I'm going to click the button right here. I'm going to present and record. Slide down where it says next. And it's going to say, is this what you really want to do? You're going to make a presentation. Others are going to see it. Absolutely. I'm going to go. I am going to go to the recording studio. Now you'll have to probably approve settings for your camera the first time and your microphone. I've already done that, so it just jumps ahead. This gives you a preview. Is my camera working? Yes, it is. And yes, my microphone's working. So I'm ready. I'm going to go ahead and hit start recording. Gives me a little countdown. And what your viewers are going to see is just inside over here. They are not going to see your presentation notes. They are also not going to see your mouse moving around. So keep that in mind. I tend to point things out a lot with my mouse. They won't see that. They're only going to see the slide down here in the bottom left. They're going to see your video feed and they'll hear your audio. So I'm going to do my presentation and when I'm ready to go to the next slide, I click this little arrow. Go to the next slide, do whatever it is I need to do. I can go back if I needed to, however you're doing it. So you do your presentation. Once again, remember, they're not going to see any of the presenter, presenter notes, so don't worry about that. When you get to the end and you're done with your presentation, keep in mind, you could also pause. Maybe you had to set something up so you can pause. But when you're done, you click the end recording button right here. It's going to upload your recording to Canva. And then you'll be given two choices. I can copy this link right now by clicking this button and put this into Google Classroom and email any way I want. And everyone who gets this link will have access to view it. They don't have to sign in or anything. So what they're going to see looks an awful lot like this. And what your viewers are going to see is just inside over here. They are not going to see your presentation notes. They are also not going to see your mouse moving around. So keep that in mind. I tend to point so things see, out you can't a lot see that mouse moving around. They won't see So that. what's really nice is they just see that screen. Or maybe you use YouTube or another way. You can download that video and then put in any one of your um, sharing services that you use. So you either get a link, which I think is the easiest, or you can download. So what you do want to do is just hit save and exit so that you always have that link available. It is that easy, just copying that link, sharing it, and now whoever you send that to can see your presentation, hear your voice, and have that little video feed in the bottom corner for whatever session you presented or whatever tool or activity you presented. Super easy, once again, Canva for the win.